Hey, welcome back guys, it's Slider and we are back on Sky Factory 2.5. And today, well you can see, the area is getting bigger. Um, right after I got off camera, I kept grinding to get this little bad boy right here. I'm going to eat some jerky because my life's getting low. And I got it. This right here is the Rod of the Lands. Long story short, fancy name for Dirt Maker. That's what it is. It's a dirt maker. And that's all you do is just right click and it just burns up your mana. And uh, I don't know if you can really tell, but down in my experience bar, there's a little blue bar kind of blinking on the bottom left hand, or the left hand side of it, because it's not full right now. Uh, that's the amount of mana I have. And as long as I have mana, I can make dirt. And so I just started making a little more mana right now because, well, I'm expanding. And uh, I want, like I said, I want to make this area pretty. I want to make this area pretty. And I want to make it big. And I want to have room for everything. And so that's what I'm doing is I'm working on the dirt. And then I took my stairs out because I've decided that this right here, this is annoying me that I didn't do this right here, um, is going to inevitably be kind of like my underground work area. Um, it'll be where I put, like, you know, all my uh, power stuff and work stuff. Because let's be honest, in real life, we don't ever see, like, the power plant that we get our power from. So I don't need to have that above ground and visible and, you know, whatever. So I just uh, put a little elevator so I can drop down in here whenever I need to and get stuff done. But um, as you can see, I've done a lot of dirt. Uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of dirt. And I've still got some double layering I have to finish up. And we could definitely do that once I can fly. Which is why I really want to get working on the magical crops. Right? So I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do right now. But I've kind of opened up the area and expanded. I relocated it a little bit. Because I want it to cover a much larger area. And so I've shifted it over. And then I think today what we're going to do is I want to dip into another mod. Um, it's one that I've wanted to touch on for a very long time. I've never, ever touched on it. It's Thaumcraft. Um, in my uh, Tragic Magic series... Little dude just running around again. In my Tragic Magic series, I uh, I never got to it. Uh, that was something that Mr. Saint had done. And uh, that's something that I want to do. I want to get going on Thaumcraft. So we might start that today, but I do want to expand the reach of this a little bit. And so we're going to go down into the workshop so we can make some stuff. So there is, uh, what is it, the capacitor, right? So these are the upgrades. The original one starts just a basic capacitor. And then if we want to make the upgrade added in, we just make two of the basic capacitors and some of this energetic alloy. So the base capacitor is easier. It's, uh, I'm going to need two pieces of copper, four gold nuggets, and two redstone. I think I should have most of that. Um, I don't seem to have any gold nuggets in here do I have do I have any in here let's see what I have gold wise I have one but I have two ingots so that's cool um, actually you know what I'm gonna use the gold coins because if I remember right they work we did that before all right so I've got the four gold I need two copper do I have any co oh, uh, you know what I know where I've got plenty of copper I've got plenty of copper in here so we'll go ahead and craft up 32 ingots. 16 of those bad boys plopped in here. You can see I've got tons of iron now. Just got that, uh, you know, doing its thing. All right, so what else did I need? Um, keep switching this. Uh, capacitor. So I'm going to need two of those, which I got. The copper's coming, the gold nuggets, the redstone, good. And then this energetic alloy stuff. How do I make that? Redstone, gold, and glowstone dust. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some gold cooking as well. I haven't been getting a lot of gold. That is... Well, I say that and then I've got a stack. Um, every time I looked, I never noticed a lot of gold. How's that? So we'll go ahead and throw the gold in there. As soon as that's done cooking. There we go. And let's switch this over to copper because I'm just going to take it out. Oh, I already had some gold. Cool. Um, we're just going to make up some blocks real quick. What is this in my inventory right here? This is... Oh, that's dirt. Oh, I can do more iron. I had more iron on me. Alright, so then we'll have tons of copper, at least for a while. And we should be able to upgrade this guy pretty easily. And the next one, the one I never want to get to, is this guy. And this takes two of these double layers. So two of the ones we're making right now. 
and uh, some glowstone and some vibrant alloy, which we'll, we'll look into. We'll, we'll find out what that's all about. Every time those shears break, I figure out it is the shears. The shears on my uh, tree dirt farm, every time they break, I hear them from here. I hear that broken sound constantly. I'm like, what is breaking? I'm not touching anything. But that's what it is. And that should be all of the copper. Yes, that's all of the copper. Okay. You didn't you didn't have enough? How much do I need? Let's go make a couple more. Um Well let's just make it all. I'm gonna need it all eventually. Let's just make it all. Okay. And uh, then we'll make up some gold because I'm gonna need well, thirty five gold's a pretty good start. Alright, so um let's just kick out some oh well did the copper finish? Let the copper finish. And I'll kick out some gold on this side. Because we're going to need that to make this uh, whatever alloy that I had to make. And uh, while we're standing here, I'll kind of tell you something. So my I, I've reached my limit. Um, these are not generating all the power I need anymore. All my lava is being gobbled up because of it. Uh, because they're doing that. And uh, I need more lava. I need uh, more lava production. So we might actually move this guy into a more open area and expand its abilities. But for the time being, it is what it is. So um, Finish you. Okay, let's switch back over to copper real quick and finish filling you. <coughs> Not that that was a necessity, but I didn't want to leave some just sitting in there. Let's finish it. All right, and then let's switch back to gold and just make... Oh, that's copper gold there we go and we'll make up a gold block real quick just to make sure we have enough and then we're gonna go over to this guy this guy right here it's gonna be gold I've got redstone around here somewhere is it in here now yeah there we go got some redstone there and oh you know what I had glowstone in there too um, that's powder that's yellow dot. that's glowstone okay We'll just make up four of these, whatever these ingots are called. And well, I only need two. Well, four. Four could get me two of these, which then could get me this guy. How do I make this guy? How do I do that? Um, I'm going to need two more of those ingots and two ender pearls. And I'm sure I can probably, yeah, do it in the alloy smelter. Ooh, we might be able to get it, this guy fully upgraded. Let me make sure I got enough redstone and glowstone around here. Um, you're all gone, you're all gone. How much redstone do I have in my system? Uh, I've got five. All right, well, I'm just going to plop you in there real quick so I know how. So, yeah, we can do this. We can definitely do this. I'm sure I got more glowstone in here. Sure. Oh, yeah, I got plenty of glowstone. So we'll go ahead and throw the glowstone in there. And the gold which I just made a block of it, so I know I've got plenty of that. And there we go. Let's break you down into some ingots. Oh, we might be able to fully upgrade this bad boy. This could be good. This could be really good. Because I need... Was it two? Two for this guy. Um, oh, but I need to make more of these, but that's fine. That's easy. Uh, two and two, so I need four there. And then I need two more to make these ingots, so I need six total. Am I gonna get six? Yeah. Um, go grab. There's already one in there, so there we go. One's cooking. Should be about done. Uh, four, and then those will start, right? Yep. Four, and then that's cooking, and then one in the system. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We might be able to get this bad boy. Uh, just some ender pearls, some pulverized coal. I can pulverize up some coal real quick. And just throw some in the pulverizer. I've uh, disconnected the cobble generator from it for the time being, just because I was trying to get uh, dust because I was needing for uh, redstone for something else earlier. And uh, so yeah, so I needed to get myself some redstone. And the sulfur byproduct, not a big deal. All right, uh, ender pearls. I'm gonna need ender pearls. Some of these. Oh, well, actually, just two actually. Just two. And uh, you're almost done. So I can get you back. And I'll break down this copper real quick. So I can make up 
what will be four of those things. So, oh, I need more gold nuggets then. Um, gold coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two of those, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this will work. All right, so you go there. Oh, do I have enough redstone, though? That's that's the question. Four of those? Yeah, I should. I should. Four of those to make two of the others. Um, what was I looking at? Yeah, the capacitor recipe. All right, so this is two of those pulverized coal, which I've got, two of those ingots, which I've got, so I can make those two. And then, oh, I just need to make a uh, glowstone block. We got this. This is this is better than it never works out in a good way. It always works out evil for me. I never get what I want. This is outstanding. All right, so let's make you up real quick. I've got everything for you. Yep. And then I'm just making those two ingots. I've got the glow. Oh, we're gonna get it. We're gonna max out that farming station. Oh, I'm happy now. I'm very happy. Very rarely do I ever actually do exactly what I want to do and get exactly what I want to get. Um, oh, the other ones are in there. Okay. Yeah, this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. What are these things, by the way? Just something like an HV capacitor for immersive engineering. That's the same one that had that hemp thing. Interesting. Thinking cap. All right, so we're going to go do this, and then we'll uh, we'll knock out a little thalmcraft after this ingot gets made right now. Oh, this is amazing. I didn't think I was going to be able to get to that thing. All right, let me throw this metal away. We'll throw these in here for right now. Um, actually, no, I'm going to throw those in the system, because why would I store in there? Eventually, I'm going to relocate everything into the system. All right, let's go throw this in and see how well this works. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm, I wanna see it happen all at once. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I'm gonna make as many seeds as I can right now because I want this to like mass produce like no other. That way we can, oh look at, I already have seeds in here. I don't know how many I'm gonna need to fill out this entire huge structure. We'll just leave those in there for a second. But I'm sure it'll be pretty good. All right. All right. Let's put the capacitor in. Let's put it in. Oh, it's growing. Oh, it's growing. I can move these torches now. Oh, it's growing all right. Oh, yeah. Look at that go. That is expanding and doing its thing. And this is probably really dangerous to do, so I'm going to go sleep while all those yellow X's are highly visible. And let's see what that farm has put out. And see if I need to make more seeds. I wish it did farm up seeds, too. Like, that would be really cool if it did that, but, you know, whatever. It doesn't... Not everything's perfect. Okay, I need more. I need more. I don't have... Oh. I've got a whole bunch in here, yes. Um, seeds. There we go. 43 of them. That should be enough. That should be enough to darn near fill this whole thing. Oh no, I want to spread the wealth. Let's see, are you fully expanding here? So it's supposed to be a 15 by 15 area now. That's what it's supposed to be. Um, let me go ahead and put some torches on this outer edge just to prevent the whole spawning thing and then I'm gonna have to put water blocks in here as well for the areas on this outside so let's see one two three four five six seven eight okay it should make it out to here all right and I'm assuming that's the edge right there because they're all stopping right there so this is kind of like my corner marker right there. So we should probably move this chest off the land. It's my farming land here. And put you here. All right, resort you. And are all the seeds planted now? Or are you still? 
The other three seem to be taking them. All right. Oh, did the... That broke. Let's go fix that bad boy up. So that farm is expanding. It is expanding. Uh, iron. Iron. Just give me two ingots real quick. So I can fix my Maddox. And then we'll start up on Thomcraft. Um, I, I, like, I don't really know anything about Thomcraft. I mean, I've seen like some of the cool stuff that it does. But I never touched it. I never did anything with it. And so I'm curious as to uh, what the hype is. And I'm, uh, I'm all about finding out about that. You go in there, you go in there. You know, plant your last two seeds. All right, so you're coming along. I'm going to go ahead and put some torches down just to make sure we don't get any bad guys spawning around here. That got all them. Okay, so, yeah. That farm's getting big. That farm's really big, actually. That's awesome, and it's just going to keep doing its thing, and it's going to start collecting even more uh, Menincio essence. You know what? I'm going to turn it all into seeds right now. Might as well, right? As many seeds as I can make. Oh, one more. Awesome. Yeah, this stuff gets expensive. I will say that much. Like, the Menincio stuff is expensive. It's, it's pretty pricey. Go there. Just plant. Come on, plant. You're not planted. You're not ex fully expended all the way around. Um, okay, so the water block covers out to one, two, three, four. Okay, so it doesn't cover these last three rows out here. All right. And... But, oh, if I put the water block right here... Hey, why aren't you doubled up? I don't want any more like flowing water and stuff like that. It's just really annoying. All right, so I've got a water block there, which will hydrate this area. And I'm gonna need to put one like right here. And um, one's gonna go right here. All right. And I think if I do this all right, another one it's like it's like stopping short right at my farm and one right here there we go now I'll just go steal some water from the water farm oh no the hydrangeas have died the hydrangeas have died so there's water there I've got little infinite springs everywhere hey that's not the one I meant to take stop taking that one there corner over here and I think I need to put one in the middle over here as well um, one two three four that's all that's gonna reach and one two three four that's all that's gonna reach so right here in the middle four and four yeah we'll just put you right here oh man literally I'm like right at the edge of everything um, yeah, there we go. Let's stop taking the edge one. There we go. Water there. And we will have an awesome farm. Awesome. Why? Where did you guys come from? Is the sprinkler causing that? I'm curious as to that. And right there. So then I'm going to need one right here and in the back over here lined up like the other one was and, and right there apparently it's just all the way around i'm missing the water blocks on the farm all right so water all right so this farm is going to be rocking absolutely rocking now i think it's huge that's a lot of farming that i don't even have to do anything to I just let it go. All the water is automatic and all those are in there and all right, one, two, three, four. This should be going further, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's gonna be going out to here. Man, I put those in the wrong darn spot. I put those blocks in the wrong spot. You go all the way out here. Let me get that dirt back real quick. There we go. You're going to be going all the way out to this corner. Oh, oh, oh. 
and I can't put water there right at the moment. Um, but I can do this. Bloop, bloop, bloop. There we go. All the bloops are done. And put you there. And this one, I know is good because this is all the double layer and I just finished doing. All right. So I'm going to need more water. I know I'm going to need more water spots somewhere. But this one covers to here. Four and four. Oh, yeah, no, they all cover. It doesn't look even, but it is. Interesting. Well, we'll see. But anyways, that's good. So time for Thomcraft. Yes. We've got all that done for the time being. Uh, let me go put these seeds in here so you'll plant them. Make sure those get planted up. Did I make more? Or ten. I can make one more seed. My, I'm, I'm trying to max this out. I don't even know why I'm wasting the time doing this at the moment, but I really want to max out the number of seeds I can make. So, Or uh, ugh, essence I can make because I want that flying armor. Like There's just no other way to put it. I want the flying armor. So, ta-da. You are good to go. You are looking pretty. You are a huge farm. Awesome. All right, time for Thomcraft. So the first thing we need is a Thomanomanomanomanomicon. Um, where's the Thomanomanomanomicon? I believe it's like a bookshelf, which we should be able to make. I think I've collected leather. Where is the Thomanomanomicon? Where's the book at? The book. The thing I need to get started. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure it's a bookshelf and like a wand or something like that. I don't know. Let's go see. Down here into my crafting area. A Thaumanomanomicon. I have a Thaumanomanomicon. Okay. I have one. Sweet. The Petch. Plants and trees. Ores. Enchantments. Um... The pets, these strange humanoids, can be found wherever the veil between worlds is at its thinnest. Okay, interesting, cool. Um, how do I go back? There's like no arrows. Um, okay. Basic information. Is there, oh, oh. Oh. Well, there's a Thaumanomanomica. Yeah, it was a bookshelf and an iron capped wooden wand. Okay. How do you go back? Oh, you just hit escape. Okay. All right, so the Thaumanomicon is where we start. And that takes us to research and knowledge fragments. I have some of these. I've, I've collected some. Uh, in your travels, you might happen upon these knowledge fragments. And they give you research notes. Research. Before you can build most thaumaturgical items and blocks, you first need to discover how to do so. There are several steps in this process. Exploring the world and examining blocks, uh, items, and creatures with a thaumometer. Taking the research points you gather from your first step and expanding your research. Okay. Well, okay, now we're, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now I can start doing some stuff. So I need two pieces of gold, glass, and some shards to get this guy. Well, let's do this. I know I have picked up a couple shards, yes, um, from like loot bags and stuff like that. And I think I have some glass. I do have some glass. And I need gold. Gold ingots. There we go. And we'll craft this bad boy up. And now we have this thermometer. It's like I heard like a grinding sound. That was cool. Elevator. Ooh, okay. To understand this, you need to understand study tools. Okay, well, how do I under how do I hold on? Do I like throw it on the ground? Nothing has been learned from this, or nothing can be learned from this. How about if I just do dirt? Can I do dirt? To understand this, you need to understand the resource, uh, study the source of life. Well, 
Oh, frick. Plants. Well, I'm, I'm doing all these things. Okay, well, it says I need to study plants, but isn't that a plant? Hold on, there's grass, wait, what was it? Okay, there's grass over here. Maybe I can just do it with the grass. So, okay, hold on. Let's go back to this thing, okay? Okay. Uh, you initially not be able to examine all objects since you have not discovered their component aspects. For example, an object containing the Lux aspect can only be examined if you have previously discovered the Lux aspect. <coughs> or no, okay. The very first time you discover an aspect by examining something, you gain two more research points than you would have normally. Uh, objects and creatures can usually only ever be examined once. Occasionally examining something will reveal additional clues. Research, okay, but it won't let me research anything. Um, okay, so hold on. So how do I study this life stuff? Aspects of magic? Primal. Perdito. Ter Ordo. Ignis. Aquas. And air. Okay. Well, hold on. let's study some water. Let's... Okay. Okay, got some water. Um, let me do just a dirt block. Okay. Can I do grass now? No. So. What about a torch? Ooh, I can do a torch. What about chest? Something about plants again. Okay. So, well, let's see. What, <laughs> research. Um, okay, there's these shapeless. Okay. Um, a glass file, a feather, and an ink sack will give me scribing tools. How do I make this? Clay and glass. Let's, let's just go make some of this stuff up first. I'm going to have a lot of fun time as soon as I freaking get off camera. I'm telling you. Glass. I happen to have three. Do I have any clay? I have clay. Okay, so we're going to make this file up like this, I think it was. Okay. And then what was the other part? Um, ink sack or coal. Okay, and I know I just put some coal in here. Pulverized coal, there we go. So it was like that, like that, and what was the other thing? Was it a feather? Is that what it was? A feather, and I'm sure I have at least a couple feathers. I have 11 feathers, okay. Okay, so we got some scribing tools. All right. Uh, what else do I need? Um, oh, I could have just done it with a glass bottle, but that's funny. Scribing tools, scribing tools. Uh, combining aspects. Once you have gathered some research points, you can attempt to combine them into compound aspects within a research table. Uh, to craft a research table, simply place two tables next to each other and then click on them with a set of scribing tools. Okay, well, I've got the scribing tools. Uh, the re recipe for tables is listed under the artifice research category. I'm not really finding these artifice research category like where is this stuff ores enchantments the pesh plants and trees okay this is interesting because uh it said i had to do research plants so let's check this out okay strange flowers mana pods okay but going back um oh that's great wood this is just like special woods okay um, ores, enchantments, plants and trees, the pe uh, advanced node tapping, research expertise. Yeah, I'm not there yet, apparently. Um, this is this isn't easy to start. I'll say that much. Auras and nodes, <sighs> enchantments, ores. 
Okay, yeah, so this is... Uh, how am I supposed to get these shards? I'm assuming that's going to come from Ex Nihilo. I'm assuming, because I know I've seen tons of that amber stuff. Um, let's look up shards. Where do I get shards from? Uh, let's look at these basically. A water shard. How do I make you? Um, an Ex Nihilo hammer and ice will give me a water shard. Okay. Um, and then what about earth? Oh, Ex Nihilo to grass. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, stone will give me this one. TNT will give me... Okay, so I just got to make some of this stuff up to get some of these shards. Um, what about the table, though? It said to make a table. Um, let's look up table. Wow, there's a lot of tables. Um, but I have a feeling the Thomcraft one is going to look different. Uh, that was Thomcraft stuff. That was definitely it. Um, this is an arcane work table. Table. Okay, this is what I want. Okay. So, let me get back in here and look up a table. All right. That one was very definitive. I knew exactly what I was looking at. It was bright green and said, this is Thomcraft all over it. Okay. And I'm sure I got plenty of those. Okay. All right. Let's go set. Oh, I was right where I wanted to be. So used to run into the stairs. Um, we're going to daytime. I don't want to take any chance of any mobs bothering me. And I'm going to get this table set up. And I'm going to do some research off camera. I think that's probably where I'm going to leave this one off at. Because I really don't know what I'm doing. And so I'm going to have to do some research on Thomcraft. <clears throat> I thought the book would be more helpful right off the bat. But apparently I was mistaken. Alright, so it said put two of these next to each other. Like so. Hold on, let me. Can I read you? Nope, I need a study man. Okay. Um, but it says if I right click with this. Okay, cool. Ooh, okay, cool, cool, cool. This is cool. I don't know what any of this does, but it's cool. Scribing tools. I don't know what any of this is. All right, guys. Well, we've got a table. We've got a table with some paper and some pen. That's a good start, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go do some research. In the next episode, this is definitely what we're coming back to. We're definitely going to be rocking on the Thomcraft. Uh, the magical crops, I'm going to keep working on those in the meantime, as well as Batania and little things here and there. We're just going to work everything slowly. I'm not going to be, you know, rushing anything. So, until next time, guys, I'm Slider Havoc. This is Sky Factory, and I'm out of here. Peace!